Genetic testing is an area that I'm very excited about personally. I'm someone that believes that knowledge is power. And with genetic testing, we really have a very clear picture of predispositions, not of absolute manifestation of disease in most cases, but rather a tendency that can express genetically or not express depending on our lifestyle. So it's very empowering to know. Some of the genetic tests that are now available is um, sleep, and what type of uh, disposition we have regarding sleep and the areas that might be expressing and making it more challenging perhaps for us to have good sleep. And that gives us a way to better address sleep issues, for example. Um, we also can look at the predisposition for aging. We notice in our life that some people seem to stay young and look young and never change. And of course that has to do with their lifestyle. They're clearly um, living a lifestyle that supports their, their genetic predisposition. But then we also sometimes see people that have a healthy lifestyle but seem to be aging rapidly and not doing as well. And by having a, a genetic test for our age disposition, then we basically are able to make better choices to remain more youthful for longer. One that I find particularly interesting myself and I'm, um, have already tested myself for is the epigenetic testing where we actually get a snapshot of how our lifestyle is impacting our health right now. In other words, how our genes are expressing. It doesn't mean it's permanently going to express that way. It doesn't mean our genes are unalterable. It simply gives us a very clear picture of what the expression of our genes are in the moment, in the present time, um, based on our genetics. Um, so I view genetic testing as one of the most powerful tools to help us make better informed decisions about our health about our longevity, about our youthfulness, about our vitality, decade after decade. For me, it's empowering, it's exciting, and it's something that I'd like to encourage everyone I know to, to do for themselves.